New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all welcome with us. Here, before I begin, these players are being paid millions of dollars, okay? In my opinion, I think uh, firefighters, doctors, police officers, astronauts, scientists, they should be looked up to more than these professional athletes. And before people get mad or triggered by that statement, it's a figure of speech. These people that I just mentioned are putting their lives on the line or are making waves to better people's lives with the line of work that they do. And let's not forget to mention or brave soldiers in the military, army, navy, etc. So, Josh Reddick is complaining. It's like he just discovered this. If you're a right fielder at Yankee Stadium, the new Yankee Stadium, or old, it's expected. And you should expect this kind of rhetoric and supposedly abuse amplify when you're playing in the American League Championship Series. Here's what little snowflake Josh Rennick decided to say when, like I said, mentioned previously, there's people putting their lives on the line. While this dude is playing supposedly a child's game, people call baseball a child's game, but in my opinion, it's a grown man's game. But he's playing a game and he's being paid millions of dollars and he's whining and complaining about Yankees fans. Let's read what he had to say. There's no place in the game for that type of thing, Reddit said. I think I saw seven or eight water bottles out in the outfield and two souvenir baseballs thrown from center field to left. It's scary. I don't think a lot of people realize how scary that can really be. You throw a baseball hard enough, hit somebody in the head when they're not looking, it could do some damage to you as a player. You throw a baseball from the third deck, it's got a little bit of movement on it. It's frustrating to see that as a player in the outfield, we're usually the ones throwing stuff at you. It's definitely disrespectful and at the same time, very unsafe. And then he went on to say and imply that Yankees fans are internet hackers or whatever, and they're good at Google. And they looked up his wife's name and were chanting his wife's name. Ooh, big boo-hoo, wow. You see, the Houston Astros fan base is like going to Disneyland. You see their fans, you know, they really don't know much about baseball. They're more like the cheerleader type with their pom-poms. Yeah, yeah, yippee, um, let's play... Who's on the uh, rooster? They didn't even know how to pronounce roster, I bet. Those are the types of fans that the Houston Astros have. So it's no surprise that Josh Reddick would get his feelings hurt when he's playing in a baseball city with real baseball fans. Grow up, Josh Reddick. If I were paid a fraction of the money that Josh Reddick was making, I wouldn't even care. Throw a whole bunch of water bottles at me, throw a baseball at my head, I wouldn't care. Because you know what I would say? I would say, <laughs> I'm rich, b But I truly believe that his statements and the actions of Carlos Correa in Game 2 and all these other, you know, little things that the Houston Astros organization has done in this series, I think that is going to motivate the this Yankees team and it's going to light a fire under their, you know what, to get the job done. You know, there's a whole bunch of things you could say, do to a sleeping giant or a bear hibernating, that's going to wake them up. And once they're awakened, I mean, you don't want to awake that sleeping giant. And I think the Astros are doing a great job at trying to light a fire under the Yankees. And I think the Yankees are going to respond in game four and as they progress in this series. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think of Josh Reddick's comments? Do you think it was offensive do you think that this Yankees team is paying attention to his comments? Do you think that this Yankees team is going to avenge the fan base? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NYY.